I have another fantastic book from Goodman Games. This one is How to Write Adventure Modules That Don't Suck. Straight and to the point. <laughs> uh, first thing to say is this is a very clever book. It's put together uh, so it looks like a old subject um, notebook that you may have had in school. Uh, <laughs> it's even, the pages inside are even lined very faintly. <laughs> And this is a collection of essays and adventures by over 25 authors giving advice on how to write adventures. And oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, you've got lots of great stuff here. You've got um, how to use, uh, how to write good descriptions that use all the five senses, right? How to, uh, how much context does your adventure need? which is kind of the backstory and all the stuff around it. How to write good villains, how to write good P NPCs, uh, how much, uh, how to balance risk and reward, how to uh, write uh, puzzles and, you know, um, traps, and how to balance the encounters for your uh, player characters so that it's not too difficult, but not too, di too easy. So a lot of great stuff that anybody can use. Uh, but it also has uh, some articles that are specifically geared towards writing adventure modules that you want to get published. So they, um, you know, there's, there's an article or two in here from publishers talking about what sort of thing they want to see in modules. There's uh, advice here on how to get, uh, how to take player feedback to make a better module. So while anybody can use, any GM can use this to write a good it, it, um, a good adventure, and it, it's a wonderful book with lots of great information, it's particularly helpful if you have any um, ideas, any hopes of writing a module that gets published. So hmm. um, yeah, yeah, it's got it's a lot of great stuff. And uh, just to keep it from being too dry, <laughs> which it isn't, but between every essay, uh, there is a small adventure or an encounter. So not only are you getting a book full of advice um, you're, and a great examples, you're also getting a book of adventures. Um, you know, little short two-page adventures, uh, some encounters, um, you know, some simple maps, but there are a few, you know, things can be expanded out here to make whole adventures. So it's, it's really a fantastic book. You get a lot for your money, uh, which, by the way, is $30 or $15 for a PDF um, available on Goodman Games online. It's really great. It even comes with a page for autographs. That, uh, if you meet uh, famous game designers at cons, you can get them to sign your like a yearbook <laughs> so it's, it's, wow, it's that's awesome yeah it, it really is a great book it's got uh, little cartoons and some nice art um you know i i was reading an article in one of the essays uh just the other day about how to um make your monsters more interesting and the, you know this particular article was about a monster synergy. The idea is that, you know, the monsters are clever. Some of them are clever, so they can find a way to work together. Um, you know, they can they can compensate for each other's weaknesses. And then the 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 simplest example they had, which was really great, was kobolds that have learned how to weaponize slimes and oozes which I thought was a fantastic idea. Imagine your, the look on your players' faces when they say, oh, well, it's just a couple of kobolds, whatever. And suddenly these guys start throwing jars of green slime at them. <laughs> you know, or, oh, okay. or they've, got it, you know, they've got a trap rigged up and it falls down on them. You know, this, so the idea was your, your, your monsters can cleverly use the environment around them. Uh, so if if you've got a if you've got a flying monster, it can you it can uh, it can you can use an environment that hampers people that are walking because the monster's flying. 
So it's got all sorts of little tricks on like that. Um, you know, ways to Im improve your uh, monsters, way to improve your settings, way to increase role playing. Um, really great stuff. And it is system neutral. Uh, so it'll work for any system. Most of it is indeed geared towards fantasy role playing, but it does have a uh, essay on how to create uh, logical and believable aliens. So you can use it for science fiction. It, it's just a great uh, game master resource. You should definitely have a copy in your library. Oh wow! So it sounds like it's, it's like half textbook, college textbook, half uh, adventure seeds. Yes. Um, That's it. Yep. That's it. You get adventure seeds and you get uh, great articles full of all sorts of wonderful advice and funny cartoons. That's, a, that's, <laughs> that's great. It's, it's a book where, uh, in a sense, that uh, you start out using to help uh, make your current adventures better, but then by the end of the book, it looks like it helps fashion you and mold you to a better game master. Oh, yes, definitely. It's definitely got, it, it's definitely got uh, a range of articles from you know, how to get started to really deep kind of in the weeds uh, techniques that I, I think, you know, any GM could use this. Uh, a new GM, an experienced GM, you should really get a copy of this, you know, uh, really well spent. And probably the best 30 bucks you're going to spend other than your core rule book, <laughs> which isn't 30 bucks anymore. So there you go. Best 30 bucks you can spend. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Well, Everyone, thank you for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below. If if you have the book, let us know if it's impacted your your gameplay. And uh, yeah, everyone have a good day. Uh -huh.